Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera So, uh, kita akan sambung nomenclature of benzene Okay, the last part which is ring as substituents So Basically, before this, kita belajar Kali tengok So, you ada benzene Let's say this is your benzene Okay, and then You ada structure, contoh macam ni So, parent chain yang kita akan pilih adalah benzin. Okay. Even though you guna common root ke, you tak guna common root ke, tapi benzin ring adalah a part of your um, parent chain. Okay. For this example, contohnya dekat sini kita tak satu, dua, tiga. So, kita guna substituents meta. So, and then bromo ethyl benzin. So, meaning that parent chain awak adalah benzene. Okay. So, kenapa kita pilih benzene as your parent chain? First thing, because benzene adalah longest continuous carbon chain. So, there is six-membered ring. Second thing, sebab you ada multiple functional group such as halogens, alkyl group yang directly attached pada benzene ring. So, BR ni, dia tak attach pada ethyl. Okay, tapi BR attach pada benzene. Same goes to the ethyl. Dia attach pada benzene. Okay, not attach to BR. So, you have two functional group that attach to your benzene group. So, that's why benzene will be your parent chain. So, bila parent chain, kita letak nama dia di hujung. Okay, so I give you another example. You ada COOH dan juga um, BR. Okay. So, for this example, you ada common root which is benzoic acid. So, the benzoic acid, okay, dia akan include benzene and COOH. Okay. So, bermaksud benzene juga as a part of the parent chain. Okay. Sebabnya benzoic acid dia kena ada COOH dan benzene. So your substituents hanyalah BR. So positions empat. So dia adalah para bromo benzoic acid. Okay. So untuk ring as substituents di mana benzene ring awak ni dia akan act as substituents. So Branch yang ada, dia akan act as a parent. Okay, itu maksud dia ring as a substituent. So, ada dua keadaan. Okay, which is the first one. Your benzene ring will react as phenyl. Ataupun, uh, in other conditions, your benzene ring will react as a benzyl. So, macam mana kita nak differentiate? Your benzene ring akan jadi phenyl ataupun benzyl. So, there are two conditions. Okay. Yang ke kedua-dua conditions ni, you kena anggap ring awak adalah substituents. Okay. So, the first one. Okay, for this one. Kita assume you punya, ini adalah you punya branch. Okay, kenapa? Benzene ada 6 carbon. Okay. Your straight change you ada uh, 8 carbon. Okay. So, meaning that this one lebih panjang daripada you punya uh, benzene. So, that's why yang ini kita pilih sebagai parent chain. Okay. So, bila kita tengok dekat sini, yang sebagai A branch hanyalah benzin sahaja. So, yang atas ni semuanya adalah you punya parent chain. So, benzin sahaja yang terkeluar and consider as a branch. So, that's why dia jadi phenyl. Sebab benzin sahaja sebagai branch. Okay. So, untuk this one, bila kita jadikan BR as your parent chain, okay, kenapa? 
Sebab BR is a functional group that is not directly attached to your benzene ring. Kalau directly attached, dia macam ni. Okay, so this is your benzene. So, terus BR. Okay, ini directly attached. Tapi for this one, you have CH2 and then baru you ada BR. So, you ada jambatan dekat tengah ni. So, that's why BR awak ataupun your functional group is not directly attached to benzene. So, dia akan jadi you punya parent chain. Okay. So, bila kita tengok dekat this structure, okay, yang menjadi you punya um, branch adalah benzene dan juga CH2. So, bila you ada benzene dan CH2 sebagai branch, so kita akan kenal this benzene structure as a benzyl. So, that's why nama dia jadi benzene bromide. So, kenapa bukan bromo? Sebab BR ni kita dah jadikan dia as your parent chain. Okay. So, uh, another example. Okay. This one. Okay. So, first thing, macam mana you nak decide ring akan jadi parents ataupun other than that yang akan jadi parents. You locate the functional group. Okay. So, untuk this structure, kalau kita tengok, you ada dua functional group which is BR dan juga double bond. Okay. Dan, kedua-dua functional group ini is not directly attached to your benzene ring. So, bila tak directly attached to benzene ring, automatically ring awak dia akan jadi substituent which is vinyl ataupun benzyl. So, either one lah. Salah satu. So, macam mana kita nak decide kita nak guna dia sebagai vinyl ataupun benzyl adalah you can name naming uh, your structure yang dekat sini ni according to functional group yang berkaitan. Okay. So, for example, kat sini kita ada big double bond dan juga BR. So, untuk yang ni kita akan nimi mengikut cara um, alkin. So, bermaksud first step you kena cari longest continuous carbon chain. So, this is your longest and continuous carbon chain. Second kena buat numbering. So, double bond kena lowest carbon number. So, satu, dua, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Nombor 2, numbering settle. Nombor 3, locate and name your branch. So, awak ada satu branch which is BR. So, 6 promo. Okay. And then, you ada lagi satu branch dekat sini. Okay. So, sekarang kita kena decide nak guna phenyl ataupun benzyl. Okay. Tengok pada branch awak ni. You have one CH2 kat situ. So, CH2 dan benzene maksudnya yang ini adalah 3 benzene. So, last one, number 4, you kena susun ikut alphabetical order. So, your final name, dia akan jadi 3 benzene. Okay, followed by 6 bromo. And the longest carbon chain adalah heptin. Okay. Nak letak hep one tin boleh. Nak letak hep tin je pun boleh. So, this is the name for your structure. Okay. So, for the second one. Okay. Sama juga, you have BR which is you punya functional group yang not directly attached to your ring. So, dia jauh. Okay, ingat eh, kalau directly attached, yang macam saya tunjuk tadi, ring awak terus CL. Contoh direct, yang ini, you ada uh, carbon lain, carbon lain baru sampai ke BR awak. Okay, so not directly attached, so ring awak akan jadi substituents. Okay, so kena pilih sama ada phenyl ataupun benzene.
So for this structure, semuanya adalah single point. So meaning that kita kena naming according to uh, rules in chapter number 2 which is Alkin. Okay, so first rule dia sama juga find your longest carbon chain. So longer saya dapat dekat sini. Okay, so and then numbering branch must be at the lowest carbon number. So we start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So and then locate and name your branch. So saya ada satu branch, dua branch, tiga branch. So yang ini adalah 2 methyl. Yang ini adalah 4 bromo. Okay. For this one, kita nak decide dia sama ada phenyl ataupun benzyl. Okay, kita nampak pada this structure, hanya benzin yang act as a branch. Okay, kat sini. Dia tak ada, tak ada CH2. No CH2. Okay. So, because of that, dia bukan benzyl tapi dia adalah phenyl. Okay. No CH2, memang benzyl sahaja yang sebagai branch. So, final name dia adalah um, kita ada 4 bromo and then we have 2 methyl and then we have 3 phenyl longest carbon chain you adalah optin. Okay. So, this is how you nak name a ring as a substituent. So, first kali tentukan whether dia adalah parent chain ataupun substituents. And then kalau you dah confirm dia adalah substituents, so you can decide whether it is phenyl ataupun benzyl. So, macam mana nak decide? You decide dulu you can naming that compound using rules of alkin ke, alkin ke ataupun alkyne. So, and then baru you boleh decide ring awak ni akan jadi phenyl ataupun benzyl. Okay. So, there are several examples. Okay. Kalau you boleh tengok for the first one, dia guna C6H5. So, this one merujuk kepada benzene. Um, the simplest molecular formula untuk benzene adalah C6H6. So, bila ada satu substituent, dia akan jadi hilang satu hidrogen, so that's why dia jadi C6H5. So, for this one, since you ada dua uh, group benzene, so and then we have double bond, so kita akan naming according to rules of alkene. So, kat sini, you akan dapat 2, 3, di phenyl, 2, pentene. Kenapa kita pilih sebagai phenyl? Sebab hanya benzene ring yang jadi substituents. Okay, this is another example. Kalau kita nampak, kita akan namingkan dia menggunakan uh, alkin. Okay, so you ada CH2 dan juga benzene sebagai substituents sebab dia jadi benzyl. So, located at carbon number 3. So, 3 benzyl hexene. So, for this one, um, this one dia guna nama ikut group alcohol. Tapi, kita boleh abaikan kalau nak nama mengikut um, topik yang you dah belajar. So, dia akan jadi 1 of 1 hydroxyl, sorry, 1 hydroxyl, 1 phenyl, methyl. Sebab, you ada hydroxyl group attached to carbon number 1 and you have Benzene group attached to carbon number 1. Kenapa benzene tak jadi parent chain? Sebab OH adalah functional group and this the functional group not directly attached to your benzene ring. Kalau directly attached, dia macam ni. Okay, untuk jadi phenol, dia terus OH. Tapi for this structure, dia ada CH2 and then baru OH. For this uh, structure also, you can try to name it using um, alkene rules. Okay. So, that's all for nomenclature of benzene. Okay, we continue with the reactions of benzene in the next video. So, thank you guys for your time.